English phrases for talking about plans and goals from EspressoEnglish.net. Do you make New Year's resolutions? Here are the top five goals people tend to have for the new year, along with some other ways to express related goals. The most common goal is to lose weight. Here are some other ways to express related plans. You could say, I want to lose 10 pounds. I'm trying to get back into shape. Or, I'm trying to get in better shape. Or, my goal is to work out more. Work out means exercise. You could also resolve to eat healthier, eat less, or eat more fruit and vegetables. Or you could say you plan to cut down on junk food. Cut down on means to reduce, and junk food refers to unhealthy food. The second most common New Year's resolution is to get organized. Here are some other ways to say it. I want to manage my time better. My goal is to stop procrastinating or stop putting things off. Both procrastinating and putting things off refer to delaying your tasks and responsibilities. You could also say you'd like to be more punctual. Someone who is punctual arrives on time. Another way to express this is to say you hope to stick to your schedule. To stick to something means to follow it or accompany it closely. Finally, you might have a goal of having a better work-life balance. This means you avoid working too much. Another common goal is to spend less money and save more money. You could say you want to save up for something, like a new car, a house, or a trip. A related goal is to get out of debt or pay off debt. The word debt refers to money you owe and need to pay back. Two common types of debts are student loans, which is money you borrow to pay for your education, and a mortgage, which is money you borrow to pay for your house. So one of your goals might be to pay off my student loans or pay off my mortgage. A great goal is to make a budget and stick to it. A budget is a specific plan for spending money in various areas. And again, sticking to something means to follow the plan, to accompany it. If you have some bad habits, one of your goals this year might be to quit smoking or quit drinking. Other ways to say this are kick the smoking habit. Kick, in this case, is an informal way to say stop or get rid of. You might resolve to drink in moderation. That means you drink a regular, normal amount, not too much. Or you might want to lay off the alcohol. To lay off something means to stop using or stop consuming so much of it. The fifth common New Year's resolution is to spend more time with family and friends. You might say, I'd like to improve my marriage this year, or I want to play with my kids more. Another goal could be to reconnect with old friends. Reconnect means to get in contact with someone after a long time of no contact. Some other ways to express this are, I'd like to show my family how much I love them. And, I hope to be a better husband, a better wife, a better mother, or a better father. All of these phrases refer to goals of improving relationships. So now that you know the most common resolutions, how can we talk about making them? Here are some English phrases for stating your goals. Use I'm going to and I'm not going to to state promises and intentions. You can add the word definitely for extra emphasis. For example, this year I'm definitely going to learn a new language. From now on, I'm not going to eat at McDonald's. Another way to express your intentions is to use the phrase I'm determined to or I'm determined not to. These phrases express your firm emotional commitment to your goals. For example, I'm determined to eat healthier in 2016 or I'm determined not to lose my temper with my kids. To lose your temper means to explode in anger. 
Use the phrases I'm planning to and I'm planning on for plans that are more definite. You've already taken some steps to make them happen. For example, I'm planning to travel to Hawaii this September. We're planning on buying a house within the next 12 months. Note that after planning to, we use the base form, planning to travel. But after planning on, we use the ing form, planning on buying. Use the phrases I hope to and I'd like to for things you want, but there's a little less certainty that they will happen. For example, I hope to get into graduate school this year. I'd like to find a better paying job as soon as possible. And finally, use I might and I'm thinking about when you are not completely certain, you are only considering the idea. For example, I might get a dog, although I'm not sure if my apartment's big enough for a pet. I'm thinking about having another child this year. Note that after might, we use the base form, get, I might get a dog. And after thinking about, we use the ing form. I'm thinking about having another child. Here are some phrases you can use to express excitement when something will definitely happen in the future and you are excited about. I'm looking forward to plus the ing form. For example, I'm looking forward to starting guitar lessons. I'm really looking forward to visiting my cousins in June. I haven't seen them in five years. You could also say, I can't wait to, plus the base form of a verb, or I can't wait for, plus a noun. For example, I can't wait to see the new Star Wars movie. I can't wait for summer vacation. And a third expression for expressing your excitement is, I'm counting down the days until. For example, I'm counting down the days until the end of the semester. An informal way to express excitement is to say, I'm psyched or I'm pumped. For example, I'm psyched about the opportunity to go to China. I'm pumped to start my new job in February. Finally, you can use the future perfect to talk about what you hope to accomplish or finish before the year ends. For example, by the end of the year, I will have run a marathon. By the end of the year, I will have improved my English. By the end of the year, I will have saved up $10,000. By the end of the year, I will have gotten a promotion. The structure is will plus have plus the past participle. I will have gotten a promotion. When speaking fast, will have sounds like will have. I will have gotten a promotion. If one of your goals this year is to improve your speaking, check out my most popular course at Espresso English. It's the Everyday English Speaking course, which will teach you English for daily life, social English, and functional English. It's a very practical course based on real-life situations.